I came to Castle Craig in um, in 2011. So, um, well, I'm 12, more than 12 years sober and happy to be here. It was my first time coming into rehab, and I'm very lucky that um, I got into one of the best rehabs, I guess. I um, did not know anything about the 12 steps, so um, it was all new to me. But um, after a short while, the people of Castle Craig came me, made me feel at home right away. And after a couple of weeks, I uh, stopped uh, smoking as well. During my alcoholism period of 30 years, I can remember that in the beginning, I was able to stop drinking after a couple of beers because I had to go to, um, to, uh, to work the next day. In the last period of my, of my, of my addiction time, I, I, can, I cannot remember a single day that I was able to stop after the first drink. So when I came here, um, I was willing to do everything. Acceptance um, of being an alcoholic, the first step is actually admitting that you are an alcoholic. That was not difficult because when you reach your bottom, I think, then, then, and, and you're at the point of dying, then um, you probably, it's easier to accept. So it was not for me easy, it was not difficult for me to accept that I, I had this problem. I could see that uh, for already for a couple of years, been hospitali hospitalized a couple of times. So uh, I definitely uh, was uh, not, uh, it was not difficult for me to accept that I was an alcoholic. Yeah, when I, uh, when I came here, I was very depressed. A year before I came here, I was uh, at the point that I did not want to live anymore. So, but um, before I got here, it was in November 2011, um, I misbehaved uh, in the summer of 2011. So my high school friends uh, organized uh, an intervention. They told me that I've gone too far. Of course, I was calling them names, and, but after a couple of minutes, I gave in. But, but the rehab is, is a beautiful place. Uh, people can help each other. Your life starts really there, and it's a jump start for my recovery. So um, I'm, I'm quite positive it would be very hard to stay sober in my old environment, to stay there and not having this jump start of my recovery. I think it was life saving for me. I think the biggest misconception people have about, um, about addiction is that, uh, that, um, it's, it, that it's all about willpower. And I was thinking the same. And that has nothing to do with willpower. Willpower, I use only willpower in case of emergency, but it's all about acceptance. And I think when you talk to people who are not an addict or something, they still think it's about willpower. And when you tell them, try to explain them that it is about acceptance, it's hard to grasp. It took me two weeks to understand what was going on. That if I accept that I'm, I'm an addict, then uh, my fighting is over. And if you keep on fighting, in the end, you will lose. So that's the trouble with willpower. When you keep fighting, eventually you're going to lose. And, and that's what most of the people think, that addiction can be won by, by willpower. And I think that's the biggest mistake people make. I would say to the people who are feeling hopeless, I was feeling hopeless myself, and, um, but just going for it. And uh, because you tried everything at home, and nothing worked, so um, just um, handing yourself over to this recovery program. Eventually, at the end of the line, uh, you will have a life beyond your wildest dreams, like I'm having right now. What I want to say is um, you have to have faith in the recovery process, doing what is suggested. And if you think that you're different, then you're on, your, you're on the wrong way. Uh, this works for everybody. When you accept that you are uh, an addict, or an alcoholic, then you start to listen. And when you don't listen, you're never gonna get your recovery. So please open up your ears, acceptance is the key, and uh, you will have a way better life than you ever had before.